Hey, so I'm here with Paul from Lightstone Property. Uh, these guys are the data gurus on what are the hot spots in South Africa in terms of property investment. We're going to ask him a couple of questions about the Western Cape. So what we found this year, which was quite interesting and different from last year, is that if you look at the average price in the, the most expensive suburbs, it's the old, old boys that come up, the Cliftons and the and the uh, Fresnays and those ones. But if you look at the ones that have experienced a lot of growth, price growth, it is the suburbs that's a bit further out, uh, not as close to the city bowl than what it used to. So, uh, and even in the Western Cape, a lot of them are in places like Plet and, uh, and Grootbrak instead of in Cape Town itself. So I think what happens is that in the past couple of years, five or six years, the, the area around the City Bowl exploded, the area uh, around the Atlantic Seaboard exploded, so people are now looking for more value. And I think as HR practices and technology advancements give people the, more people the opportunity to work decentralized and not in the city, uh, those kind of properties start realizing more value. And I'll see, we, I think we'll see more of that as, as we get self-driving cars and virtual offices and, and, and more open-minded HR practices going. Private property, a home for everyone.